So what's the difference between buying cheap shoes off DHK and buying from a seller? So the first shoe that came in were the DHK ones and this is pretty much what they look like. I destroyed ass box, we don't really need it so we chucked that shit away. We don't really need that because why, why we want to destroy box for. So this is pretty much a look at the Jordans as well. So they're pretty okay. The colors are definitely off and then the shape of them is a bit off as well. They have a weird groove in there as well. I don't know if you guys can see that on the tick. And then the suede is definitely not there at all. So that's one of the biggest flaws on the shoe. The color also is one of the big flaws. And the support on this is crazy shit. You can fully bend the shoe, which is not good. So I ran it over and <laughs> I had to do it. I also got these sent out to me by a seller. So these are from Shoe Pop. So if you guys do want to check them out, they'll be in the link in the description. But let's have a look at the shoes and let's compare them. So straight off the bat, the, the box isn't squashed. The shoe does look pretty good. It does have all the logos on it the air jordan in the back does look a lot better the suede and the leather on the shoe is actually really good as well they got the cactus jack on the tongue and on the back you got the nike and look at the suede you can actually see it it does go back and forth you can see the suede quite nicely so now we had a look at both the shoes let's have a showdown of both the shoes back to back to see which one's actually the better one so we got the sellers one on the right so this is from shoe pop and then on the left we got the dh gate one Shoe Pop does come with a little bit of a laces as well, so that's a, always a plus. And the box isn't destroyed like the DHK one. So back to back, you can see the DHK one has a big groove through it. I don't know why it does, but it does. You can see it pretty clearly as well through that artificial leather. The other one, look at the leather on that, it's nice and crispy. The back of the Jordan, the right one does look a lot better as well. It's a lot bigger and you can see it a lot better as well. And on the DHK one, it's a weird kind of shape as well. It's a bit fatter. All right, so now looking at the side of both shoes, we got the cactus jack on the side. So it does show up a lot better on the black, but that just might be because it's a black shoe. And it still looks okay on both shoes. The tongue does squish a lot more on the DHK pair compared to the seller's one. The tongue actually does feel the exact same, I ain't gonna lie. They both feel exactly the same. The inside, you get the tag on both of them as well. And the inside of the shoes does look pretty much the, exactly the same. The suede on this one is just so much more buttery than the DHK ones. I don't know what they put on there, but that feels really nice. The DHK one, it doesn't even have any suede, so that's nothing to compare. So the back of them, this one's got a big, like, I don't know, printing area maybe, but it looks a bit messed up. And the bottom of the shoe, they have different colors. I don't know if that's supposed to be like that, or it's just in general different colors. And there you go. So it's not a test unless you're trying them on the shoes as well. So I'm gonna try both these pairs on. So first we got the DHK pair. They're not that bad to be honest. They're not that uncomfortable. They're just a bit tight, but that's about it. Then we got the sellers ones. So these ones are so much more comfortable and they do feel really nice as well. They're very squishy and very like, they have a nice feel to them. And I'm just gonna lace them up real quick because they didn't come laced though. 2,000 years later. All right guys, so that's the end of the video. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you guys do want to cop these shoes from the seller, you guys can check him out. He'll be in the link in the description. You use code REPSY, you get $15 off a pair of shoes. He doesn't just have Jordans. He has pretty much every single luxury shoe you could possibly want. I've worked with him many times before and every time it's a banger shoe. So shout out to Shoe Pop. These ones, on the other hand, weren't the best quality. These were from DHK. These were about $50. These ones cost you about 100 and something dollars. Not too short on the price, but they, they weren't that expensive. But if you are looking for good quality shoes, you know where to go. But yeah, that's pretty much the end of the video. I hope you guys did enjoy this little wrap up of Sellers vs. DHK. Obviously, the Sellers win and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.